Good morning. It's Friday, November 16th, 2012, and there's just one reason to wake up. It's sick day. Welcome your host, Megan Gailey and Sherman Edwards. Let's give it up for the band. The band. Yeah, Dick McGlather and his pianist. <laughs> Best band in morning television. Come Nothing on. like high lather. Oh, man. Yeah. Greg, how you doing? I'm doing great. Fantastic. You're like chocolate and butter in that jacket. Uh, thank you, baby. What do you want to hear first, good news or the bad news? <sighs> it's, uh, it's Friday. We'll end on a high note. Let's go bad news first. Okay, in 2004, on this day, President George W. Bush picked National Security Advisor Condoleezza Rice to be the Secretary of State, succeeding um, Colin Powell. That's bad news? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because after that came 9-11, and the buildings got destroyed, and <laughs> it was with, on her watch. No. 9-11 so, was before 2004. So 9-11 is Condoleezza Rice's no. fault. Well, you know, she was, she was taking care of business at that time. I'm just saying. She belongs to Augusta now, right? Yeah. I Wait, who? who owns her? No, the golf place. The golf. The oh, she so got accepted oh. there. there. Yeah, there weren't oh. women, they take, they and then they were like, women. let's yeah. give it to Condi. Okay. She deserves it. For good news, in 1938, LSD is first synthesized yeah. by Swiss chemist Dr. Albert Hoffman at the Sandoz Laboratories in Switzerland. Switzerland. Yeah. Good for them. Do you think he knew what he was doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he was just like. like he was specifically like, yeah. I'm trying to get meth. It's just like somebody doing meth. They know they're cooking meth. You but know. when you cook meth for the first time, do you know it's going to be I wouldn't meth? know about that, Sherman. I don't know. I don't do meth. I feel like if it's in Switzerland, it's more fun, though. What if he was just trying to make a sandwich, and then he ate it? It's like, oh, I got crazy high. And then he's like, I'm going to call this LSD, because yeah. it was like lettuce and You know, Cary Grant used LSD. Okay, enough with the people we don't know, all right? Yeah. Uh, you don't know Cary Grant? Let's... North by Northwest, girl, catch it. Greg, what's our first segment today? Well, Megan, it's time for sports with Fluff Richards. Thank you, Gregory. This is Fluff Richards here with the sports. This is uh, North Carolina over Virginia last night, a 37-13 score. That's a big score for North Carolina. Good job on the Tar Heels for that. We also have the Bills over the Dolphins. Please slow the ticker down. The ticker's going too fast. Bills over the Dolphins, 19... Slow the ticker down. The ticker's too fast. Slow it down. Slow it down. That's too fast. Hey, that's better. That's too, that's too slow. We also have the Knicks over the Spurs. What do you mean the Knicks over the Spurs? That's not right. The Knicks beat the Spurs? Oh, f are you kidding me? F the Knicks beat the Spurs? I just lost a lot of money on that. Oh, wow. I'm so f Well, Karen, there goes your alimony payment. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to put everything on Kansas State this weekend or Baylor. That's Kansas State over Baylor for put it all on the ride. If you are at risk of losing your kids or potentially your job and your mortgage, put it on Kansas State over the Baylor. That is a lock. That is a thing you have to do. We're going to have to make it work. Uh, folks, you know the thing about divorce, you know why it's so expensive? Because it's f worth it. <laughs> Well, I can't make a joke. I can't make a joke. F you. Fluff's tip for the day. If you have psoriasis, wear it proud. F hiding from these idiots and imbeciles. You got something red? Show it. Let it flash. Be proud of it. Be proud of your psoriasis. Take it away, Sherman and Megan. This is. F it's time for kit news with Erwin Feltneck and Little Jimmy Pork Chops. I'm Little Jimmy Pork Chops. And I am Irvin Feltnick. And these are today's headlines. A 48-year-old man in Oklahoma died when he lost control of his truck doing donuts. What the heck were in those donuts? A sheriff's deputy in Minnesota was charged with stealing prescription drugs while on duty. When confronted, he was extremely calm. Uruguay's Congress proposed Thursday to create a national cannabis institute with power to grant licenses to produce the drug. They woke up this morning and felt embarrassed forever bringing up the idea. What's your anti-drug, Jimmy? Ritalin! This has been your news. 
Back to you. I'm really excited about this next segment. Mr. Holloman? Here's animal expert, Whoa. Cody Fritz. God, it's like freezing out there. My God, it's so cold in Chicago. Hi, Cody. Oh, it's so nice to meet you guys. Nice Thanks for having me on the show. Cody, so glad to have you. Wow. Big fan. Wow. Oh. Man. Who do you have for us today? Today, we are going to be talking, uh, the theme I have in mind are uh, tiny animals. Oh. This so happens to be an Asian fighting cricket. You guys want to, oh? No, oh, oh, no, oh, oh. that's not, that's, that's oh, not on. funny, Cody. <laughs> let's watch this guy fight. No. no. Let's get the arena. Come on, let's make a little arena. No, it only has three legs. Oh my so God. Was he, no. so was he, really, he doesn't have a he leg. He was in a fight. He was in a little fight Jesus. earlier. It's okay. Come on. Oh. Okay, all right, whoa. we get a hey, look. Oh, keep oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. God. Holy God. So okay. in addition, okay. in addition oh, to having oh, a small no, 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 I don't like this. This is, I this do not is like this. Cousin. Okay, yeah, this okay. This is her cousin. Come on. Come Are those alive? Are those alive? Yeah. They're, they're, they're Please, I swear to God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, these moving? guys are from Alabama. Why aren't they moving? They're in a sort of comatose state. I did freeze them before, and they, uh, you know. You have to go. These are from Alabama. Cody! Man, I came all the way from Alabama. Okay. Cody, put the lid on it. Okay. There is no lid. Why? This, what is wrong with why you? Are you changing uh, okay. the things. No, 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 no. Nope, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> is he is he alive? Unfortunately, no. Can we start putting stuff? No. I swear to God, I. Sw oh, oh, the tiniest of all. I am sweating right now. Oh, it's okay. These things really love sweat. This right here, who oh, happens to be fleas. My brother, when uh, when he was in kindergarten, he didn't get uh, lice. He got fleas. As a kid, I got fleas. That's yeah. great. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Come on, come on. We also get a close up of this. You guys see this? All the viewers at home. Look at it. Huh? Okay. Check him out. Check him out. Is it um? Ooh, you know we're How really. Many, did you we do are, a head count? I don't. I feel like we've got to be out of time. Um. So, Cody, always great. Thank you. Uh. Yeah. Super. Today's losing lottery numbers are one, two, three. I woke up this morning with a patch in my head, right here. Does it look like the Virgin Mary? No. 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 Maybe with a cloak on? No. no. You are doing phenomenal. The Virgin Mary wearing a cloak. Yes. I knew I was touched, y'all. I knew I was touched. I woke up feeling beautiful. I said I'm talking about a baby. I thought you were growing a mustache for November. Oh, well, I sure am. Want to check it out? Where is it? Here we go. There's a little fella. It's brunette bamboo. All proceeds go to right, rub out lupus. Down. Shut it down. Alderman Ed Buss in the 53rd Ward. Shut this whole thing down. Wait, is you this... You don't have a permit to do a talk show in my Are you board. doing a segment? Is this real? Not a is segment. this real? This is real. You got a permit for the yellow what's, jacket? What's going on? Yeah, do you got a permit for an indoor forest? We're going green. I didn't think so, yeah. One clock per ward. There's no six. You can't have six. There's no clock, clock rules. Are you there serious? There's no clock There's rules. There's a clock rule in my ward. All right, shut this down. We're going to make it a Baja Fresh. Oh. I would love... Did Ch Pitbull just choke out Alderman Ed Buss? Yes, I believe he did. Time for weather with Mike Leibovitz. Give us some weather. Hey there, everybody. Mike Leibovitz here with the weather. We're just going to kind of give you an overview of sort of what you can expect if you were to step out of the house today, which I don't necessarily recommend. You can see behind me, we got a, we got a map. Holy sh**. This is a big map. Al Roker never had a map like this, you know what I mean? <laughs> or a map like this, you know what I'm saying? That's my dick and balls. Okay. So, uh, anyway. Oh, right. Yes, good. So, <clears throat> over here in Chicago, uh, we're going to have a high today of 34 and a low of 72. So, just be prepared for that when you leave the house today. We're going to move on over. Bring it on over here to the Sunshine State, Los Angeles, California. Oh, man, I miss you. I'm going to get back to you someday, girl. <laughs> 
Uh, it's going to be a high of 72 and a low of 71. So be prepared, uh, you know, for a little bit of change in the old tippity temp. You know, you step outside, you might want to be prepared to put on a jacket later. Uh, we're going to move over here. We're going to zoom it on out. Al Roker never zoomed out this far, but we're going to go on over to Asia, where it's going to be a high of uh, 102 and a low of minus 4. We're going to co come over here to Africa, where it is uh, Mbuja's birthday. So we're going to celebrate that. Uh, if you happen to know Mbuja, he, he's the guy that I <coughs> used to sponsor in the Save a Child Foundation. I uh, bounced a few checks their way, and they sent me some unfortunate photographs. Uh, Moving on out, uh, we're going to spread it on out. We're going to have the planetary scope. And as you can see, there's, a, there's kind of a solar flare happening on, uh, on Mars. So put on your sunscreen. Um, boom. This section of Sick Day is sponsored by Ovum Beast. Few regrets, no consequences. The energy drink that's also a morning after pill. You know you're not that baby's daddy. Dr. Snote here with your daily medical affirmation. Self-medicating can be tedious. Ether. But also fun. Ether! And remember, selling a kidney in these economic times will get you one step closer to financial freedom. Chip, what are you doing? Transition to... And now to our next segment. Hi, I'm Alex Young, and this is Crafts. You know, I get a lot of inspiration by the nature around us, and um, you never know when you're going to find some. Let's go take a look. Aww. This is going to be perfect. Uh-oh. Looks like we got a live one. This squirrel still has a little bit of fight left in it, and the last thing we want for her to do is suffer, so we're just gonna give her a little. There she goes. What a beautiful animal. That means thank you, pretty squirrel. Hi, Bindle. This is my cat, Bindle. I brought a friend for us today. The first thing we need to do is get this little critter's insides on the outside. It's very important. Isn't that right, Bindle? The best way to do that is with a sharp knife. A little bit of blood, perfectly normal. Now, we're not just going to throw away these parts. We're going to turn it into a yummy snack. Not for me, for Bindle. It just takes a little bit of elbow grease in. I like squirrels because they're like little bears from trees. Bindle says he likes squirrels because they're like little pinatas full of meat. Have you already had your quinceanera, Bindle? I guess in cat years, it's different. Now I find myself at the accessory table, my favorite. All right, so what I'm gonna do is try a couple different things out. I've already chosen her sweater, maybe some sandals, and we are done. Avril the squirrel, hang loose, girlfriend. Let's put you on the shelf. This has been Sick Day Crafts with Alex Young. This segment of Sick Day was sponsored by Bacon Schlager. Finally, a bacon flavored liqueur that comes in a jug. Mm. Bert McAllister here. Have you talked to your children about me? Uh, uh, that's it. That's it. That's, that's it. it. That's what it is. Harmonizing. <laughs> you should be in that. Oh, okay. Thank you, Chip. Um, this just in, we have a surprise guest for you guys. Uh, the man of a thousand voices. Let's hear it for Mr. Arslan. Hello. Hi, Arslan, hi, hi, sweetheart. Hi, how, how are you? Good to see you. Uh, my God, 
what a treat to have you thank, here. Thank the man you. of a thousand voices. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, who do you do? Like, uh, do you have an example? I'm the George Clooney, sexiest man alive. George, George Clooney. Clooney, sir. Can we can we see a little George Clooney right now? I'm George Clooney, sexiest man alive. Wow. Yes, sir. Awesome. Uh, any any other you know sexy things you can sexy. do? Sexy. I'm the sexiest man, and I can do many, many stuff. Okay. What do you okay. want to see? Can we give you anybody, anybody give we want? Give the name, whatever you okay. want. Okay. Uh, Surprises. Elton John. Elton John. I can do the Elton okay. John. All right. My pleasure. I'm Elton John. All right. That Thank you. Great. That was great. That was Thank you. And women. Can you do women, too? Woman? Of course. I can. I'm the sexiest man. I can do the hottest woman. Okay, do show who's that? Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez. Put a ring on it. Put a ring on it. Put a ring on it. That was great. Thank you. Uh, I want to make sure we let our viewers know you have a great show coming up next week at the Fanny Pack. You can see Arslan, the man of a thousand voices. Yes, Why do. don't you take us to break doing your famous Robert De Niro? Mm. I'm the Robert De Niro. <laughs> and now for cooking, here's Boomer Bobby Masters. Morning, sickos. It's Boomer Bobby Masters here, Master Chef here, to shout some common sense recipes at your skulls. Hey, like me, are you in a little bit of a financial bind? Because, hey, maybe Boomer's condiment buffet in Times Square wasn't a great idea. Turns out people don't want to bring food to the restaurant. Who knew? Well, like me, maybe you've only got $37 to last you for, like, I don't know, two weeks of eating. So what are you gonna do? We're making spaghetti. I call it Boomer's budget spaghetti. Hey, you can't afford spaghetti noodles? That's all right. Get some ramen noodles. Bo, bo, bo. We got tomatoes. Get some tomatoes in there. Oh, right now it's a get together. Needs to be a party. I'm talking butter. Boom. Your ass is broke. You're gonna be eating this morning, afternoon, night. So let's get a little breakfast in there. Get a little flakes in there. Some little corn flakes. That's what I want. Now let's get a little touch of Alfredo. All right. So we get a little bit of that going in there. Give it a little zing. Get a little good. Okay, that. Nix the Alfredo, that is not fresh, dear God, no. Spices, spices, spices. You get them in there, get it going good, boom. It's spaghetti, idiot. <clears throat> All right, a little book for Boomer and the rest for the pot. Boom. Parmesan cheese, it's a little rich right now. So what we're using? Carpet lint. Looks the same, tastes, uh, oh, it'll do the trick. Just throw that in there. Boom, boom. No, seriously, guys, there's a, there's a boom. Come on. All right, so you got all your ingredients in there. Only one thing left to do, and that's stir it. Use, use a little boomer flare. Boom! Now, this is what it looks like. This is the finished product. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that nice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to make love to this dish. You can go to boomerbobbymasters.org. Enter yourself into a chance for me to come crash at your house tonight. Boom! Gotta be careful. Boomer out. Why does cocaine smell so good? No introduction needed. Welcome Agent Chumley and Tilden. Fashion. How are you? Well, are we going to awake after this, or have we just given up, Megan? <laughs> oh, I didn't realize I was going to have to take a Rorschach test. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be fun. Okay, so sometimes people ask me how you guys know so much about fashion. Uh, we were born this way. That's right. Agent Chumley was born wearing a DKNY bow tie and seven Calvin Klein suits. And Agent Tilden was a C-section baby, because you can't fit that much fashion out of a vagina. Mm. What are you guys going to do? Well, mm. when we've come by in the past, we've noticed that the crew's a bit... Sloppy. Oh, to put it mildly, yes, I could smell their rotten fashion from miles away. Their fashion smells like a burger that I farted on the eighth and farted out again. And collectively, I've seen more fashion sense than the South Sudan. <laughs> <laughs> so what we've decided to do today, Megan, is have a crew makeover. Mm -hmm. Which disaster do we have up first? We have Martha, the makeup girl. Mm. Martha, 
Mm. As you can see, Martha's very poor. Yes, Martha, Kurt Cobain called. He said you should kill yourself too. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, actually, Martha's fashion looks kind of like a retarded boy tried to make egg salad. Yes, Martha, we get it. You didn't graduate college. Yes. Shoo, shoo, uh, shoo, 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 shoo. Go shoo, get some shoo. fashion, Martha. Go get some fashion. Go get some fashion. Question, how much of your fashion sense comes from being British? Actually, mm, we're, we're from, from Bolingbrook, Bolingbrook, Illinois. Illinois. Let's hmm? see her after. Yes. Martha. Martha. Oh, Martha! You can see that Martha is in a league of her own in this outfit. As you all know, Martha's very poor, so we wanted to show success. Mm. So we wanted the athletic prowess, scholarship, safety first. Mm, yes, Martha, I'd do you if I wasn't rookie of the queer. Oh, oh. Martha's mother would never let her leave the house looking this sexy. Good thing Martha's mother's dead. <laughs> Hi, Martha. Thank you, Martha. Thank you, Martha. Great. You look great. Magnificent. Let's bring out all of our models. Ooh. Oh, Everybody. Chip! <laughs> oh, God. They look stunning. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Thanks again to all of our guests today, our sponsors, and of course, our viewers. This has been Sick Day. We will see you Monday. Take it away, Thick Rich Lather and his DNA. <laughs> oh. How about your buddy, Fluff? Send the money to the studio. Give me $20. I'll put it on Kansas State all the way to Baylor. We will win together. I will give you half of what I make. Put your money on fluff. And if you wouldn't mind calling my ex-wife, Karen, her number is 818-642-8. I'm just going to say it. I don't care. Call Karen. You tell her to f off. Fluff is a new man. Kansas State over Baylor. Don't forget it. I may have gone too far here. I'm sorry, folks. Ah, uh, wow. I'm sorry. Stay tuned for Tummy Bubbles, the hidden camera show where people unexpectedly sh themselves. Tummy Bubbles, next.